Welcome back for the start of another week in our series on how to take back what the enemy has stolen from you. You know, as we've seen in our study, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. That means destroying the curse brought by man's sin, destroying sickness, destroying physical and spiritual death. Jesus took back from Satan the keys to the kingdom of this earth and he gave them back to us. He says in Matthew 16, 19, that he wants to give the keys of the kingdom of heaven to you and me. You know, every time Jesus cast out a demon, healed a sick person, raised the dead, he was invading Satan's territory and Satan cringed with every miracle that Jesus performed because it eroded the power of his kingdom. Colossians 2.15 says that by Jesus' death and resurrection, he struck a devastating blow to Satan's kingdom. Now here's the exciting news. You and I have authority to wage spiritual warfare today on the basis of the finished work that Jesus has already accomplished for you and me. As sons and daughters of the living God, we are called to reflect Jesus' mission statement. He told us in Matthew 5, 13 and 14 that we're called to be salt and light in a needy world. Jesus describes us as a city set on a hill, a city of light. And in Matthew 10, 7 and 8, Jesus gives us the powerful commission. He said, as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give you see, just as God wants you and I to take back what the enemy has stolen from our own lives, He's also empowered us. He's commissioned us to set other people free from the devil's grasp as well. You and I can speak God's word and we can use the authority of the name of Jesus to bring salvation, healing, deliverance to our loved ones and friends. As we close today's segment of our series, I invite you to contact our Inspiration Prayer Center to share your prayer request so we can agree with you together in prayer for God to restore the things in your life that the enemy has stolen. Until we continue our series tomorrow, God bless you, my friend.